Hey guys, the girl Jolly here, and I'm back with another lock tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. We are doing barrel roll bangs today. I definitely am here to show you first a how to on how to do a barrel roll so that you can take your barrel roll bang to the other level. Of course, you know, as usual, she does not have time to style her entire head, honey, but she will rock this in a minute and walk and look chic, okay? So if you'd love to see entirely how to do a barrel roll and how I took my bang for this, stay tuned, boo, stay tuned. All right, now as you can see, I've already sectioned off my hair. I have a minimal amount in the front sectioned off. You're more than welcome to do this style, as with all of my styles on your entire head, but you know, she never has time for that so i like to show you guys the basis and then you can use and do whatever you like you can do whatever you like when you don't know the word but you still want to say so today we are going to sh discuss first the basics on how to do a barrel roll okay now i know for a lot of people barrel rolls are still complicated even though they are found everywhere and youtube has a million tutorials on it so i decided to go ahead and come through after getting what my 20th question asking how to to show you guys during this fabulous lock week how we get it done now I'm just going to show you the barrel roll first and then we're going to get into the style. So I'm going to section off a, a numbered amount of hair because it doesn't matter how much hair you section and how much you use. Now the easiest thing to do, especially if you're a barrel roll beginner, let me turn to the side, is for you to start with your longest lock. This is the longest lock in this bunch, so we're going to start with that. You're going to bunch up the hair. I like this like you were gonna put a rubber band in it and you're going to start rolling that lock around now if you have ever put pipe cleaners in your hair to do a bow roll think of your hair as a pipe cleaner and the pipe cleaner as your hair because you know how you roll the hair around the pipe cleaner you're rolling your hair around itself the exact same way making sure that it's not doubled on top of each other so you get like a corkscrew appearance do you see that right there make sure you can see it from every angle now you're going to roll it around until the lock looks like this then you're going to take another lock Take it, put it like that. Take the short lock, put it down into the bunch. Take the long lock and keep going. If you notice I'm going the opposite way, I like to do it the opposite way each lock. If that is not comfortable for you, then you do it however you see comfortable. But there we go. See how far we've gotten already? We're going to take another piece of hair, put it up there. And you don't have to put it up here. You just put it however you need it out of your way. And then you keep going right on top of the previous lock so that it stays nice and flat. Okay? The most important part about doing a barrel roll is that these look nice and flat and even. I don't like to see any space in between it. It just takes up away from the after effect to me. Now I'm going to show you what to do at the end. You just pick the longest lock. You roll all the way to the bottom. 
I like to roll until you can't roll no more. That's just how I am. So I'm rolling it. Once it's all the way to the end. So y'all ain't see that rubber band just shoot out my mouth. Okay. <laughs> and rubber band it. There you have it. There you have your first barrel roll. Let's do another one. Pick out our longest lock. Start rolling. Go. So I don't have to look at every single one. Like, who has time for that, right? Y'all know everything for me is about time. Rolling all the way down. Keep, keep going all the way down. Now you see in this situation where this is much longer than everything else, perfect. You take all the small ones and you just finish it up with the long one. Roll it all the way to the bottom. And then by the time you get there, you just roll a band. I really hope this is helpful for you. I showed you guys these two step by step. You can rewind and fast forward as you like. I'm moving on with the style now, so I'll be back after I've put chunky barrels and all the rest of this hair. Okay. All right. Of course, you know, I walked off and did all kind of other stuff, but I'm back. This is it. We got what? One, two, three, four, five barrel twists and a lock that was left out that I just rolled because ain't nobody got time to do this over. Oh, cr <laughs> Anyway. This is the barrel twist. They're usually stiff and literally all you have to do from this point is just bend them however you'd like. They're very bendy. Do you even see how I did that there? And then you just need one pin. To pin your creation in place. One pin. Well, that's it. Isn't this cute though? This is like a cute way of dressing up your hair when you want to look fancy but you ain't trying to go to a stylist. And you know, you can do whatever you'd like with the back. Whatever you'd like. I definitely want to show you the basis on how to do the barrel twist how I would style barrel twist bangs so that you do know how to dress your hair up so you don't just have to wear the same things over and over again. So of course if you have any questions and concerns as to what I just showed you feel free to leave them down below but I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace out!